Hello, it's Molly Reamer with Bridges Grove and 30 Days of Goddess, and the December prayer books have already came, come in. I wanted to note a couple of changes with them. One is I made this nice new cover, which I'm pretty pleased with, and then uh, two is that there were paper supply issues. The printer communicated with me and let me know that they were having to source from a different paper supplier, which um, one of the things I like about using Lulu is they do use like Sustainable Forestry Initiative paper, and it's all U.S done and things like that. So that is something I appreciate. Uh, but I do want to note that the paper is, I feel like markedly noticeably thinner than our past prayer books. So I know that sturdiness of pages is important to people. I feel like you can see through these pages kind of worse than you usually can. And to me, it's palpable to the touch that the paper, that the paper is thinner. And so I did want to make a little video to acknowledge that I am aware that they are thinner and it is, has to do with supply chain issues and continuing to source appropriate paper uh, from Lulu, who is the printing company that we use to make these prayer books, who I'm very happy with and I'm pleased with their policies and their sustainability initiatives and things like that. Uh, but I did want to acknowledge that the paper, it, it's, it's noticeable and I'm sorry about that. Uh, the other things I wanted to note is that I've added a couple of extra pages to the most recent editions of the prayer book. So there's reminders for how to return to the sacred. There is... Um, I opted to make the affirmation cards for the December book. This is just experimental, so bear with me. I didn't include the little goddesses on them, so the text could be larger. And I feel pretty good about that, though they look a little plain and a little boring. Now that I see them in print, I'm kind of like, oh, I kind of miss little goddesses. But I wanted to make more space so the text would be more legible. So that's kind of an experiment. You can let me know what you think about it. Um, and But I'm... I may or may not go back to the older way. And then they have new prayer, it has new prayer cards as well. And then a card layout. I've been having fun including those. This time, thanks to suggestions from readers, I included the brief description of each of the woman runes. It is directly excerpted from the actual file that I used to publish the woman runes book. So that's why it has page numbers on there. I hope you will just ignore the page numbers and understand that they're there because this is a this is basically a page from a different book file that's slurped out and then plugged into another book and so it's a little bit you know that's why it says 20 on the bottom that's why it has page numbers so the page numbers are irrelevant they're just listed on there because they're in the and maybe they're not irrelevant maybe you have the woman's book and you want to have a quick look up it might not be a bad idea after all to have the page numbers but the page numbers have nothing to do with the prayer book itself they are fr because this page is excerpted sucked directly out of the woman runes book file and then there's the printable the cutout runes i mean and then i included a different little teeny tiny book that you cut apart glue together and you can slide it into a bookmark packet this one's a ritual for the honoring the completion of a project which i thought was really perfect for the december books as we wrap up 2022 and prepare for 2023 so thank you for being here thank you for taking part in this practice in whatever way you choose to do so remember you are invited to make it your own 30 days of goddess is about making a space for the sacred and for yourself in your very own life and for moving from spiritually parched to spiritually nourished in every single day however that looks for you so thank Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking part. Bye-bye. Oh, and the uh, homepage, as always, is 30daysofgoddess.com. Updated every month with new printables, resources, practices, prayers, and a video for you. So that's kind of our online classroom, so to speak, or our online hub for this practice. And from that website, you can get to everything else, including our bi-monthly newsletter, and, which is free, and um, a lot of other fabulous resources for daily practice and inviting magic into your world and inviting space for the sacred into your life. Okay. Thanks for being here.